Today on Drawbly, Ben is drawing quantity. Click that subscribe button if you're new around here. And comment below with ideas. Whoa. Ideas of what so we can passionate. do to improve <laughs> so as artists. Too passionate almost. Yes, well, I have a lot to fit in my piece here because we have a lot to hear from you about today. Ben. Oh, and share your art online with hashtag Drawbly. Share your art online oh. with the hashtag Drawbly. <laughs> so uh, if you've uh, watched any of our recent videos, you've heard me talking about quantity a lot lately. Do tell, do tell, do tell. Uh, focus, focusing on drawing. Whoa, I don't like your schemey fingers. <laughs> They're interested fingers. I'm leaning forward with interest. I don't know. This is, a, you're being too intense right you now. You <laughs> Okay, so. I have been focusing a lot on quantity lately. Here is going to be a handful of sketches based on uh, a lot of different ideas, and I'll kind of talk about them as they come up. Mm -hmm. I've been also, I will say, you might have noticed something weird with Procreate there for a moment, you might not have. There's been a lot of weird Procreate glitches lately. The last update kind of kicked my iPad's butt. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on there. So here I am painting an eye. Uh, I'm gonna talk about painting from memory and also kind of like painting from reference. This is an eye that I painted just from memory. No wow. reference, just kind of going off of what I know. This is really easy for me to do because it's straight on. It's, you know, I don't have to worry about perspective and I can just kind of paint what I know about an eye. Is it super realistic? No, it's it looks good though. I, I, I think it looks good. It looks awesome. So yeah, good uh, job. this was a lot of fun for me to kind of work on because I don't have to, I can kind of like pare down the things that I have to worry about. Like, yeah. you know, some of the <laughs> more fundamentals that I am not as practiced in, like perspective. Uh, Cause that kind of stuff coming from a 3D medium is very difficult for me. Mm -hmm. So uh, here I wanted to start off with one of the good things. I am going to show off mostly my, my good drawings. I probably spent, I, I have like eight, seven or eight hours of footage of just like a bunch what? of drawing and sketching and I'm not even gonna show half of it here. Wow. <laughs> Obviously it's very sped up. This was something that I painted in bed the other night with Abby uh, yelling at me, telling me to I stop shaking sorry. the bed. Yes. Because, uh, <laughs> I apparently- uh, The whole bed was shaking. I, I gotta you. get my whole arm into the, the you motion. You do, but not well, after I've gone to bed. <laughs> you should have gone out to the couch. Maybe you should have gone. I tried oh. to. Every time I stood up and I was like, I'm going to the couch, you'd be like, no, 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 I'm almost done. <laughs> because I was almost. <laughs> I looked at the footage for this. And it was like it was like 28 minutes. It was like I was. I was that is like, soon. That's like three hours in bedtime. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, here's the first thing that I painted. It was an eye. It was an eye, and it's amazing. <laughs> I, I harbor no ill will towards this really? eye. Really, it's only you might. Mm. <laughs> it's not like you might harbor some ill will. Not towards the eye. <laughs> not towards the eye. No. Interesting. The eye was an innocent bystander. Uh, bystander, if you will. An eye st no. oh, oh. We do. Oh, we make jokes here on Drawbly. We're funny. <laughs> Abby says funny things. I say funny things. So the eye, tell me more. It's an eye. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's some other things that I, I, I drew here that I want to talk more about that you'll see here in a moment. But I really got to have some fun here in the iris, creating some cool textures. The iris? Oh, I'm just kidding. I mean, <laughs> that I mean, was a reach. <laughs> I mean, it's literally called iris. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, painting from memory and painting from reference. Here in a moment, you're gonna see me going through painting a lot of different faces. Uh, because in one of our recent Ahmed al Dori course assignments, the course we're, that we're going through. He's so great. He's a good teacher. He is. He's a, a fantastic teacher. Uh, and here's one of those faces now. This is kind of the early stage. This uh, kind of new idea is essentially creating blobs, like what I'm doing here. Little meat, meatballs is sometimes what some artists refer to this exercise as. And attempting to use those shapes to like create a face and find something interesting. And, you know, this obviously works a lot better when you've drawn and painted a lot more because you have a lot more experience to pull on. You've drawn a face from this angle a million times, so it's gonna be really easy for you or a lot easier. Uh, this was kind of my, uh, one of my, you know, really early attempts here at this idea. But I do eventually, these are kind of, you know, the bad ones. I'm 
you know, just trying this for the first time. It's the warm up. It, it's not even a warm up. Um, it's, it's just me like trying it for the first time, seeing what kind of occurs. Yeah, yeah. And then um, I'll start creating some better ones here. So these are from my imagination. I'll show you where I do successfully create some that I'm very happy with from my imagination, like this one. This is one that uh, I kind of started thinking more about shape language, creating something a lot more stylized, and then I spent a little more time applying some really kind of solid side light to this piece uh, to help, you know, bring it into more of a three-dimensional space. And uh, I enjoyed that one a lot. This is my best one out of obviously what I've created so far, and it's Love because that. I did a lot of these little sketches and found one like, I was like, no, that one's not interesting to me. It looks bad. Let's move on to the next one. And it's just about quantity there, creating these meatballs and finding something that you really enjoy. This is another one from my memory that I really enjoy. This is probably my favorite one out of all the different sketches that I've done. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna show all the sketches that I did, because there's a lot of them, and I don't show them all in this video in the footage, because there's just so many to pull from. But this is one that was working. This is one that I enjoyed the shapes that I was creating, I enjoyed the proportions, I enjoyed the general style that I had early on, and it was something that I decided to pour more time into. So that's why I'm really enjoying this exercise and this kind of strategy because it's really pulling into this idea of working on quantity first and then kind of nailing down and finding some, some quality that you can start applying to those, or you know, at least a little bit. This is the first one that is from a reference. I don't have it here on my iPad. It's just a photo that I found on Pinterest, uh, or actually on Google Images. I think I Googled smiling large man, and this is, uh, this is what popped up. Mm -hmm. And um, just kind of sketched and doodled it out and had some fun with yeah, it. Yeah, it looks fun. He is a smiling large man, and I like him. Yeah, so, <laughs> uh, that, I mean, that's that's essentially like what this whole video is about, is oh, kind okay. of doodling mm -hmm. and finding those things that you enjoy working on. Don't waste time on the things that you don't enjoy or the things that aren't working well. Uh, you know, lean hard into those things that are working well. Yeah, play to your strengths. It's satisfying. This is uh, my favorite from the pieces that I pulled from reference. This was just a photo that I did find on Pinterest of uh, a cool dude wearing some sunglasses. Um, and I liked the initial rough sketch. And my strategy with this was if I enjoy the initial rough sketch, I spend a little more time going in, just pumping up some more details with mainly values to add some three-dimensionality to it and kind of refine a little bit more of the sketch. So the first pass was uh, all from imagination on the meatballs, and then the second pass is with reference. This, this one is reference, this yes, one here specifically. with reference, but not meatballs, but you are trying to get down planes of the face really quick. Is that kind of the goal here? I'm a little confused about the goal. Uh, so the, the meatball idea is to be like an idea generator. Mm -hmm. You can think like looking at clouds and you're like, oh, I can see a cat in those clouds. Mm -hmm. The idea with that is you're painting a cloud or meatball, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter. And you're finding inspiration from that to create some shapes. Mm -hmm. uh, using reference is just me more like playing with these ideas and these practices to continue to like build into my visual library but I have something to pull from. And I'm not even worried about it looking like the reference, which is why I'm not even showing the reference because they genuinely don't look anything like what I'm referencing. Mm -hmm. They're more of just like inspiration that I'm pulling from. Mm -hmm. You watched a little bit of the lecture in terms of how he would have a reference and he would pull like a little bit of lighting information from them. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of like the same idea. Just like, oh, I like the, the shape of these glasses. I'll kind of pull that in. Oh, I like the shape of the beard. Maybe I'll kind of pull that in mm -hmm. and just play more with these ideas. Yeah, yeah. It so, helps to know the structure of a face for sure for that kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, there's, I mean, there, it helps to know a lot of things. There's like a million different things here in terms of practice. This was somebody's art, and uh, I, I unfortunately do not know whose art I am uh, copying here, but uh, not a strict copy, but more so a quick pull from in terms of more shape ideas. I wanted to try that with an actual artwork as well. So there's my first like jumble of sketches. Obviously, I didn't I show that. everything there. Uh, there's a ton more. This, this was actually my first one. These are all meatballs. Uh, 
Only the one in the far left middle is from a reference image, but everything else is just a quick sketch from a brown. And all of these are uh, not from reference as well, except for the bottom one of the oh, girl the that you just saw. One. Uh, yeah. Oh, this one here? Mm -hmm. No, there. Oh, that one. Yeah, that one was from memory as well. So yeah, it was just about quantity, finding those things that did work, and find, like, you know, tossing out the things that didn't. And it's about repetition and practice and building that library. You know, there's a lot of expectations on, I think, artists where they're like, oh, I have to make everything so good. And it's like, no, you don't. Like, that's what we're here to do with Drawbly a little bit is show the process and show like not everything is gonna be amazing and it's totally fine for that to be the case. Yeah, this has felt like a sketchbook tour and I can tell you've really enjoyed this run of sketches. So that's awesome, I really enjoyed this. And if you really wanna enjoy this, hit that subscribe button. Share and your work online with hashtag Drawbly. Comment below if you have some cool idea. I mean, look, you, you step- it all from me. You, you, oh, it's been taken away, I don't have for nothing. And this is the part where we say Goodbye. Goomba. Oh, wow. It's a barren field and look at all that I have upon it. I don't think there's like really, yeah, I, don't th I don't think it matters. Because you, you know, took the thing that I normally say. Yes, but I did that for reasons only I can understand. Let's go make ravioli. Let's go make some ravioli. <laughs> I'm hungry. Yeah, we have ravioli. It's spinach mozzarella. Okay.